Hey what's up everyone and in this video I will be showing you the Android Oreo build for Redmi Note 4. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, this is Saurav here. I hope you haven't forgotten me. Now guys, uh, this is the Lineage 15 build for Android Oreo 8.0 that you can run on the Redmi Note 4 Snapdragon 625 edition. It's not for the MediaTek edition guys and the first disappointment is that the navigation buttons are not backlit. Yes, that's the first disappointment of a lot of disappointments that you're gonna get in this video. So if you really want to skip the video, you are free to leave. But if you really want to watch the video till the end, you will get to know how many flaws are there in the ROM and why I'm not, reco I'm not recommending this ROM to anybody. If you really want to development, if you really want the development of audio, then you can easily go for it. But for a normal person who really are, who is actually into custom ROMs, and want to have a stable build this ROM is definitely not for you it's not for you at all now fingerprint scanner doesn't work my fingerprint scanner is from fpc sent i don't know whether it will work with goodix or not if you really know any kind of news about that do let me know via the comment section below i'm always waiting for you there and in the very first build of audio there was no support for uh, sims but the sim is currently supported 4g network is supported lte data is supported but full te is not supported for Indian users, it's a kind of a deal breaker. Now the sims are supported, I hope you can see that. And the data is also working fine. And while flashing the ROM, the G apps also crashed. So if the G app crashes for you, just skip it and just reboot the phone. It will work without any issue. At least for my, my case, it worked fine. My G apps installation crashed and then it just worked fine. I, I haven't faced any issue. Anyways guys, uh, talking about a, a new disappointment and another one, I, it's actually a disappointment to be honest, is the LED notification, it doesn't work. Now there are some features of Android Audio that you can see in the settings menu and yeah, uh, I would say the settings menu has been revamped in uh, Audio. There are few other tweaks that you can see some extra frameworks in case of battery. We haven't seen this kind of framework in battery section, in battery settings, in Nougat. And, uh, Talking about few more other stuffs like the display, there are some adaptive brightness stuffs like that. It is the lineage OS build. There should be some, you know, some kind of customizations, but I am not interested in into applying all those things. Now, for people who are gonna ask me whether uh, this uh, ROM support Bluetooth or not, I haven't tried because I don't recommend this ROM to any single person. Just don't use this ROM. If you really want a development, go for it. But otherwise, if you really want to use this ROM on a daily basis, no, this ROM is definitely not for you. And uh, the Oreo is 8.0.0, so that's the only advantage. And if you really want to use the advantage, you have to sacrifice a lot of things. First of all, you have to sacrifice a stable ROM that you are currently in. So, doesn't mean a lot. Now, coming to the Android benchmarking. Okay, first of all, coming to the Ida 64. Let me show you what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of sensor I'm currently using. A lot of things are supported. A lot of things are not. Anyways, the manufacturer of my fingerprint is FPC. So I hope you have seen that. Uh, well, uh, in case of the Android benchmarking guys, it didn't work and uh, although the Geekbench work and the scores were good, I will show you that. But in case of the Android benchmarking, you can see it is asking me for permissions and going to the permission section, I've already given it all the permission that it requires, but still it didn't run. So it's still a bug and I hope uh, with further builds it will be solved. So for that guys, I hope that uh, we have to wait for a month or more than a month to get a stable build at least a stable build because this rom freezes every 15 minutes and the score uh, well sorry the score I, that i got was very good to be honest uh, it was 891 on single core and multi core score was 4373 around 4400 which is really really awesome so based on my experience i believe the android score will be around 63 to 63500 like that kind of like that Anyways, uh, guys, uh, if you really love this video, vote it up. I know this is kind of a deal breaker for a lot of people and I don't recommend this ROM to any one of you. This ROM is actually, you know, to let people know that Oreo ROM has arrived and you should not use that right now. Well, the camera is good. I mean, the output is good. You know, it's just good. I am not going to tell more about it. Though I expected much more details in this picture and uh, I somehow felt that the details were not that good. Uh, you can see that I'm zooming in and the images, I mean the image is good but the details could have been better. 
although this uh, all right reserved you know tagline of wwe is, is you know it's clearly visible but could have been better in my opinion though although the image that i clicked earlier on that was good that was really good i don't know what's the issue <laughs> anyways that video crop option is there and uh, you can easily change the resolution or quality and you can easily shoot at 4k although that doesn't matter because you can't shoot a video i know i i have broken your heart a lot uh, and in this video i'm sorry for it but this happens when you start to record a video can't connect to the camera this is the bug you can't shoot a video guys no you can't shoot a video this is what happens every time so skipping it uh, no it's not gonna happen i'm sorry you can try it let's try it again what happens let's see so let's just click on this and afterwards you can see it's stuck <laughs> That's why I told you the timer is going on, but it's not capturing a single frame. It's just stuck on a frame. So you can easily understand that it's not in that moment. It's not actually in that platform to be a daily driver. Anyways, this video has been a long video, guys. Uh, it's more of a disappointment video than an actually ROM review. I have broken a lot of people's heart a million of times. Anyways, this is the last thing that's gonna break your heart is that no Volti support. Yes, 4G data works guys, 4G data works without any hassle but VoLTE, at least for Indian users, is kind of a deal breaker. For Indian users, VoLTE doesn't work. So this is more or less in the case of the Lineage OS 15 build that is running on Oreo on Redmi Note 4 Snapdragon 625 edition. Now if you really love this video, vote it up. And if you really didn't like this video, I know that you don't like this video but at least give me a like for the awareness that you should not use this from as of now. <laughs> And guys, make sure to hit the bell icon to get instant notification whenever you upload a video because I will be doing more custom ROM reviews on Redmi Note 4 in the upcoming future. Till then, bye. People have a great, great and great day ahead. Hope to see my next video. And don't download this ROM. I won't be providing you the link in the description box below. Bye-bye now.